Baby Bus. Let's go, Sheriff Labrador. The monster in the hot spring. <sighs> oh, brr. it's so cold. Forestville was getting colder as winter approached. Sheriff Labrador rubbed his hands together. They had turned red from the cold. Then he rubbed his hard, frozen nose. Whew, after work today, I'm going to soak in the hot spring to warm myself up. Just then, the telephone rang. Woof, Sheriff Labrador speaking. Ha, ha, Sheriff Labrador, this is Goose. There's trouble in the hot spring, big, big trouble. Hot spring? Mr. Goose, what happened in the hot spring? There's, there's a monster in the hot spring. A terrifying, invisible monster. Huh? Mr. Goose, if it's invisible, how do you know there's a monster? Are you joking? Oh, dear. Oh, it's really a monster. Sheriff Labrador, my son, little Goose, is hurt, and I had to go to the hospital. <gasps> what? I'll be right there. Sheriff Labrador rushed to the forest hot spring. He saw a circle of animals gathered outside the hot spring. Goose was blocking the intersection, waving his wings constantly like two big fans. Wait, hold on! You can't go in there! There's a monster in there! Monster? What monster? Goose, are you sure you didn't make a mistake? Mommy, I want to play in the water! I want to soak in the hot spring! <laughs> a mischievous little otter crawled under Mr. Goose's wing and slipped into the hot spring. Goose was so nervous, he stomped his feet as all his feathers stood on end. Oh, no, you really can't go in. There's a monster in there. Goose, did, did you make a mistake? mistake? Don't panic, everyone. Wait for a little bit. Let me investigate and see if there's any problem with the hot spring. Sheriff Labrador walked to the side of the forest hot spring. He saw that the hot spring was about the size of a swimming pool. There was nothing but warm water and little otter in the hot spring. He didn't see any monsters. Huh? There's nothing in the hot spring. Goose, was your son really hurt by a monster in the hot spring? Really, Sheriff Labrador? Our whole family came to soak in the hot spring. Little Goose's body suddenly turned red all over, and he had to be taken to the hospital. My wife is in with him at the hospital now. Red all over? Was it because the water in the hot spring was too hot and Little Goose was scalded? No, 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 Sheriff Labrador. I was also in the water. The water was not too hot at all. My son was definitely hurt by a monster. Before Sheriff Labrador could say anything, the animals around him started grumbling. Sheriff Labrador, where's the monster? I come to the hot springs all the time and there haven't been any problems. That's right. Goose must have made a mistake. Little Goose must have suddenly gotten ill and turned red all over. That's right. The weather is so cold. Little Goose must have gotten sick because the weather was too cold. Goose, why don't you go to the hospital and stay with your child? Oh, why don't you believe me? Oh. The animals broke out into confused discussion. Nobody believed there was a monster. Suddenly, Sheriff Labrador noticed that the little otter was lying face down in the water, not moving. Her whole body had turned red. <gasps> little otter, hey! A little otter! Quick, spray cold water on her to lower her temperature. Then call the ambulance. Child, oh, what's wrong with you? What? What no, happened? What happened? Why did little otter, oh, otter suddenly like become like, like this? My son was the same way just now, turning red all over. Now the monster has attacked little otter. What? 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 Is, is there really, there really, really a monster? monster? Sheriff Labrador stuck his hand and wrist into the hot spring. The hot water covered his hand instantly. Sheriff Labrador's dark, round eyes suddenly lit up. Um, Mr. Goose, how long was Little Goose in the hot spring? Well, not long. About a half an hour. Hmm, half an hour. <gasps> I think I've solved the case. Don't be afraid, everyone. There are no monsters in the hot spring. Little Goose and Little Otter were scalded by the water. Huh? Scalded? But the water in the hot spring is not that hot. Well... Children's skin is different from adult skin. The same temperature might not be hot to an adult, but it might be very hot to a child. If they soak in the hot spring for more than five minutes, little children may suffer from low temperature scalds. 
The ambulance rushed into the hot spring just in time, taking Little Otter to the hospital. Sure enough, both Little Otter and Little Goose had suffered from low-temperature scalds. <sighs> How did this happen? I thought soaking in the hot spring was good in the cold winter, so I brought my son along. Mr. Goose, little children's skin is more sensitive. You've got to pay attention next time. They can't soak in the hot spring for too long, and they can't use hot water bottles for too long. Woof! Mini episode on safety. Woof! Achoo! Grandma, it's so cold today. Ah, oh, little kitten, do you have a cold? Come, Grandma has prepared a big bucket of water for you to take a bath. Just take a bath in the hot water, and you'll recover. Take a bath? Ah, Grandma! The water is very hot. Hmm, it's good for it to be hot. You will get cleaner with hotter water. Oh, no! Grandma Cat, water that is too hot is not safe for children. Sheriff Labrador's Safety Talk Little children's skin is very sensitive and it is easily scalded. When adults are testing temperatures, don't use the palm. Use the skin inside the wrist to test. If the wrist feels hot, that means the temperature is too high for children. Woof! <laughs>